Good morning, traders. It's Friday. Woohoo! Um, Friday, the 30th of June, to be exact. And as always, guys, we're going to look back at yesterday's trades. We're going to look at today's potential trades. And we're going to look at the important news for today as well. Um, so let's get started. So the first one, guys, was Euro Aussie dollar, itchy head. Um, and we were trying to buy this pair. So why were we trying to buy this pair? Well, ever since it's bounced off this support here, price has come shooting up, even breaking these highs here. Okay, so upward trend, bullish momentum. Yeah, we were looking for buys. We just wanted some value. We wanted to retrace into this grey zone before we come higher. Okay, so that was the idea. If we drop down to the H1 now, that's what happened. Yeah, we got that um retrace down to our gray zone so this is that gray zone that we were talking about here yeah and as you can see price retraced down so there's a couple of things here guys so once price retraces into our gray zone yeah we get a reaction okay so nice we can enter this trade yeah maybe you get a bit of a retrace but anyway you can enter this trade give your give your trade a bit of room and put your stop below here Okay, And then, guys, with regards to a target, generally speaking, my next target will be the next area of support or resistance. So because I'm buying this pair, my next target would be the next area of resistance. And as you can see, guys, on the H1, yeah, this is it. Okay, this was once good support. When it breaks, it becomes excellent resistance. And sure enough, at this point, price comes storming down. And that is why it is a target. Because, you know, if I'm buying this pair, I need to think where is the next level where sellers could come in, come in and get involved or even push price lower. And this level here is exactly that yeah this is a nice setup for a short at this level okay so you need to be aware of that you need to be able to read those charts the market doesn't care if your target is up here yeah it really doesn't care it's going to tell you where you can take price if you can take price if you're allowed to enter you know the market is your boss yeah you know trading is quite a freeing thing to do you know you are your own boss etc but really the market is your boss he doesn't talk back he just bullies you about all right so listen to the market okay so if you entered here put your stop here take profit here yeah you get your risk to reward of one is to one okay take some profit so that's why I also take profit early, guys, yeah? Because I want to take profit at the next area where sellers could get involved if I'm buying. And that's it. Take 80% profit and then leave 20% down here. And eventually your 20% gets taken out. Okay, so yeah, the market doesn't care what your target is. Your target should realistically be you know, depending on what time frame you trade, should be the next level of support or resistance. Um, so that was that one, guys. And, and also, I don't like this trade all of a sudden. If we look at the weekly chart, okay, let's zoom out a little bit. So first and foremost, it's broken out of this chart, this, this channel, sorry. Yeah, price, as you can see, broke out of this channel. All right. You know, we're also in a bit of a downtrend okay and price is reacting at these last weekly highs okay so all of a sudden i'm not keen on this trade guys and you know we're getting a bearish reaction obviously this weekly candle hasn't finished yet it will finish today but if that weekly candle stays like that yeah you know potentially even shorts no, I'm not even looking for longs anymore. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that, guys. Yeah, I won't be trading Euro Aussie dollar. 
I will wait for this weekly candle to finish. So that was the first trade, guys. Lots of learning in the first trade. The next one was this, guys, was New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. So why, why or how are we trying to trade this? Well, we were trying to short this pair. Let's start with the day chart. Why were we trying to short this? Well, price has come breaking down. So at this point, guys, we're in an uptrend. Yeah, yeah, price comes down, comes back up. We're still in an uptrend. Price holds on to these lows, pushes back up. We're still in an uptrend, but we're starting to see lower highs. Yeah, this is a red flag and then bang. Yeah, price totally breaks down, breaking these lows here. All right, so we've got lower lows, lower highs. We are in a downtrend. Okay, and the idea with this downtrend was just to follow it back down to this last lows here. Okay, at this 6041. If we drop down to the H1 now, guys, what were we looking at? So there was this. There was this level through here, guys, on the H1. So price had come down. Yeah, it just wasn't breaking this level. All right. But price was a bit, you know, this is just whips, whips, sorry. Not nice price action to trade. Yeah, just got buyers and sellers. And then at this point, yeah, we actually get a break of these highs here. You know, so potentially, you know, it had room to the next grey level. All right. But news kicked in yeah there was very good gdp figures and initial jobless claims for us dollar and then we saw this candle okay and then at this point guys you know i i, I like to wait and let the dust settle but you know at this point if you entered here your targets here your stop losses up here you know the risk to reward doesn't make sense yeah there's not value in this trade Okay, so for me, it was no trade. And it, it'll be interesting to see what price does again at this level today. If we get a bearish reaction, then okay, maybe we could start taking price lower again. But that news pushed this trade in our direction, but pushed it so far that the risk to reward didn't make sense. Yeah, this was your risk. And this was your reward. Yeah, doesn't make sense. All right, guys, so that was New Zealand dollar, US dollar, and then gold. Gold is the trade that I liked. All right, so, yeah, let's start with the day chart. So we were trying to short this pair, guys, all right? So you can see price was in this sort of choppy area, and then it broke down with this candle. This was the catalyst for shorts, this candle here. And then price retraced into our grey zone, and then we wanted to take price lower, potentially all the way down to this 1892 level. All right, and that's pretty much what happened. Um, if we drop down to the H1 now, what were we seeing? So I was just trying to follow this H1 structure down, guys. Yeah, so you can see H1 structure is in a downtrend. Yeah, so these are the last highs here. If it doesn't break this, I'm okay. Price retraced a little. I got in around here. Okay, put my stop above here. Okay, and then price, you know, it was getting a little bit worried at this point. And then at this stage, again, we had news coming out. And news just absolutely drove this pair down. Okay, so I actually took some profit at 1900 Closed 80% of my trade here. Okay, and then I'm still in this trade for 20%. But this is another good example of taking some profit. Yeah, you know, imagine price come all the way down here and you didn't take any profit, only for price to come back up here. You would be sick. <laughs> yeah, you would. You'd be like, why didn't I take some profit? You know, I'm not saying you have to close all the trade. Because our, our daily view of this pair is still to short this pair. But take some profit. All right. So, yeah, I took some, like I say, guys, entered in here, stop here, took some profit at 1900, roughly one is to one. Okay. And I'm still in this trade for 20%. My stop is still here. So let's see. 
Okay. If we get another reaction, I might even enter more uh, another trade. I'm in it for 20%. I could still enter this for another 100% if I wanted to. Yeah, and then trade it again as if it was a separate trade. Okay, so yeah, gold, nice trade, nice profit, a um, little bit news driven, but you know, it's still in a downtrend, the day chart. So those were yesterday's trades, guys. Let's take a look at today's trades now. Guys, if you enjoyed yesterday's recap, maybe you took some of the trades, then come join us. Subscribe to the channel smash the notification button and if everyone please right now could smash the like button thank you very much yeah help support the channel thank you um so trades for friday the 30th of june before we get started guys let me just tell you a few things that we do as part of our channel um so first of all guys we've got a free discord channel you'll find the link in the video description come join it it's free you get trade ideas access to other traders indicators useful links general chit chat about trades you know it's a real nice community to join guys so come join the free discord we also have vip discord guys so vip discord is basically uh you have to pay for this but you get access to me throughout the trading day. So you can ask me questions throughout the day. I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen. We give you lots of exclusive content. You get access to a performance coach and other VIP members, guys. We also have two other expert traders sharing their ideas as well. So lots to like on the VIP Discord, guys. Um, what do we do next? We also have, yeah, a mentorship program, guys. If you would like to be coached one-on-one -on -one with myself, then drop us an email and we'll send you all the details about the mentorship program. The email is in the video description. Um, thirdly, guys, we've also got YouTube membership. If you watch our videos every, uh, every day, watch our live streams every day, then you can show your support, guys, and join YouTube membership. It's only sort of like £1.50 or something like that a month. And you also get access to, you know, some perks and some exclusive content as well, guys. So, yeah, come beco uh, become a YouTube member. And finally, guys, don't forget the live streams every day, Monday to Thursday, 8 a.m. New York EST time. Come join us for those. Um, right, that's everything we do, guys. Let's take a look at uh, the trades now for Friday the 30th of June. The first one is this, guys. Uh, Euro against the Canadian dollar. All right. And what are we seeing? So we are in a downtrend. All right. We wasn't sure what was going on with this grey zone here. Did it break it? But anyway, it broke back down. Broke these lows. So we got lower lows come back up never broke these highs okay so we're still in a downtrend and we got this super bearish candle guys all right so basically guys on the back of this bearish candle we're trying to follow this selling momentum back down to this this area here i'm going to move my target now okay so let's make it around 4350 yeah why am i moving my target well you can see, guys, we are potentially starting to make higher lows. So I'm just following this downward channel. Okay, so this is, could potentially be our target. Okay, guys, so we need to be aware of things like this. We need to be, you know, looking for higher lows, lower highs, etc. So, but having said all that, I'm still happy to short this back down to this 4350 level. If we drop down to the H1 now, what are we looking at? So, you know, we can clearly see H1 structure is in a downtrend. All right. And we're at this important gray zone through here as well. So we're already at an important level. Yeah, you can see this gray zone price has reacted many, 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 many times in this gray zone. So this gray zone is an important gray zone. All right. So what we could do, guys, is, you know, trade the first 
bearish candle that we see on euro canadian dollar i know we've had this candle guys but you know most of the time i like to wait for the london open so there's volume in the market all right so if we got a nice retrace up to this moving average 20 still in this gray zone and then a bearish reaction yeah i'd be looking to take price lower all right so yeah a bearish reaction in this gray zone somewhere if that doesn't happen guys price might want to retrace back up to here because there's a nice level of resistance here okay and again i'm just looking for a bearish reaction i can then enter this trade as well i would take some profit here and then leave some profit to run or guys you know we've got a bit of room down to our target you know perhaps this is the candle that price wants to come lower on so if we get something like this and a candle that breaks these lows you know perhaps a candle like this that breaks these lows again we can enter on there put our stop here and take price back down to here so a few ways of what i'm you know ways we can trade euro canadian dollar and that's what i'm looking at so euro canadian dollar short is the first trade idea the second trade idea, guys, is this, is euro against the pound. So we're seeing a bit of euro weakness, all right? And let's start with the weekly chart here, guys, because this weekly chart, you know, is filling us with confidence to take this lower because this is clearly in a downtrend, all right? And you can see, let me really zoom in, guys. Okay, so you can see these wicks on these candles, this wick, this wick. And, you know, potentially this weekly candle hasn't finished forming, but we're seeing a nice wick so far, you know, bouncing off of this level. So on the weekly chart, I think we've still got a bit of room to move into. Okay, um, if we drop down to the daily chart now, yeah, it may not be as clear on the day chart, but you can see this level through here price reacted yeah followed by a bearish candle and what i also like guys remember this is your job to find reasons why you like a trade yeah um these highs never broke this high here this high here because of this wick closing back inside it never broke this high okay Plus, we've had a bearish candle. I still think we have a bit of room to come down into. Um, so that's what we're looking at, guys. If we look at the H1 now, um, yeah, we've got a nice area here where we, we could look to trade. So you can see it was once good support, guys. So when price retraces into here, it could become good resistance. And we've got the moving average 20 coming down. So, yeah, I really like this gray zone for a short. Okay. Um, so that's what I want to see. I want to see price retrace into here. I want to see a bearish reaction. I would start selling this pair. As I explained earlier, guys, I will take profit at the first area of resistance. I know our target is down here, but I will take profit. Yeah, chances are this will bounce back up. Yeah, and then you can get in again anyway. Okay, but yeah, take profit at the first piece of resistance. You can always get back into the trade and add more trades to it. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'll be looking to do, guys. Yeah, in here, bearish reaction, back down to here. Take some profit, leave some money to run. Um, so that's Euro Pound, guys. I mean, it, it, you know... Again, technically, you're only wrong if it breaks this level. If it starts breaking this level, I'm not interested. But if price did come back up to here, yeah, this level, and we got a bearish reaction again, then okay, I still think we have a trade on our hands. Um, so that's Euro Pound. We're looking to short that pair. And I've got one more trade today, guys. But before I show you the trade idea, if I could ask everyone right now to smash the like button while I have a drink. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, guys, so yeah, thank you for smashing the like button. It helps support the channel. Thank you.
Um, my last trade idea, and also don't forget all the things we do, guys. Yeah, we've got the free Discord, VIP Discord, mentorship program, YouTube membership, and live streams. Loads of cool things to enjoy. The last trade is this, guys, is New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. Still looking to short this pair. If we start with the day chart, yeah, not much has changed, guys. Yes, we're still looking to short this pair. So we were in an uptrend. Yeah, but then price has sort of slowly started to break down. Okay, and then once we saw this candle here breaking all of these lows, yeah, we're in a downtrend. We started to see lower highs before then, but we're clearly in a downtrend. And the idea is just to take price back down to this level. Okay, back down to these lows. So not much has changed with regards to this trade, guys. If we drop down to H1, yeah, this still, I'll, I'll probably adjust this level now just to include those last highs. Okay, so there's still this level here. Yeah, if we get a bearish reaction at this level, yeah, I'll take price lower. Okay, so it could react in here, guys. Bearish reaction, we take price lower. If not, there is this other level here. Okay. Um, it'll probably be best to show you this on the H4, guys. Yeah, sometimes the H4 just makes things a little bit clearer. So there is this level here, guys, because this is the last H4 low here. All right. So price could again react here. We get a bearish reaction. We start shorting this pair. I'd still take some profit down here, let the rest run. What you might find, guys, is this, is that price comes up, pokes its head out of this grey zone, hits the moving tw average 20, and we get a large wick back into this zone, maybe a, you know, a green candle that looks like this. Okay, We might get something like that, touches that moving average 20, wick closes back into this grey zone on the H4. You know, you might see something like that happen, and then we can start shorting this pair as well. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, those are the trade ideas for today. If you've liked them, smash the like button. Um, let's take a look at the news now. So news for Friday the 30th of June. Um, so nothing overnight, guys. Well, we had a bit of manufacturing PMI come out of China, but as expected, the first piece of news we're interested in, guys, is this. This is big news at 7 o'clock, London GMT. We've got the GDP of the UK. So we've got quarter on quarter and year on year. So lots of eyes are on GDP at the moment. You know, people keep talking about a potential recession. So people really want to see growth in those GDP figures. Like we saw yesterday uh, with the USA GDP figures. So, yeah, this is really going to move the pound at seven o'clock London GMT, guys. Um, if we carry on down, what else are we looking at? So another piece of big news at 10 o'clock, London GMT, coming out of the euro, we've got CPI data. Again, I don't need to explain how important CPI is because it is an indicator of inflation. OK, so this is going to be big news at 10 o'clock and really move any euro pair. If we carry on down, guys, at 1.30, coming out of the US, we've got core PCE price index. So again, another three-star rating that could move the dollar. And then if we carry on down, guys, after that, you are free to trade. All right, guys. So yeah, that is the news for today. I hope you've enjoyed the vid. If you have, everyone, please smash the like button. Um, have a great trading day, a great weekend, and I'll catch up with you on Monday. See you later, guys.